Nowadays, mobile devices dominate the consumer use and habits from a personal and enterprise perspective. Thus, they are ubiquitous, they are found everywhere. The basic risk segments can be divided into these five main mobile application security categories, starting from the mobile device itself, passing through network security, web server security, database security, and application management procedures. The mobile device risk spectrum starts with the data storage. Is the data on the mobile device encrypted or not? About data transmission, we can talk HTTPS versus HTTP, FTPS versus secure FTP. So is the application utilizing secure protocol versus open protocols? Reverse engineering is a very important area when we talk about mobile applications. Are there binary protections in place? If there are no binary protections in place, anyone can have access to this mobile app and just reverse engineer it and get the source code and get to know the details of the architecture of the mobile app and more. Application access management. When you install an application, you grant it access to local resources. So are is the application having access to only the resources it needs or it's having more elevated access. The other uh, mobile attack surface is the network thread itself. Here we mainly talk about HTTP versus HTTPS using SSL, using TLS, because if we do that, it will cover all the wireless connectivity issues. You will disallow any hackers from doing se session hijacking and DNS spoofing. Thus, we need to know how these technologies work. Doesn't mean that if you use SSL, you're, you're safe. No, we will see in the examples coming forward that we can decrypt SSL as if we are not using SSL in the first place. So we need to know how to use and utilize SSL within our mobile applications. The other security spectrum is the, the, the web server security. Do we have any processes in place to identify and apply critical system security patches? Do we have a process in place to assign roles and responsibilities for people who will take the ownership of their actions performed on the web server? And do we use processes to mitigate DDoS attacks such as CAPTCHA or do we have password policies in place to lock out attacks and to lock out accounts that have been attempting to brute force using incorrect passwords. These are trivial threats not only related to the mobile attack service but however it's important to, to mention them here. The other attack surface is the database threats who has access to our database, who can use privilege account. Are we sanitizing the data we're getting from mobile applications before we insert it into our databases? Are we checking the logic of the data we're getting from mobile apps? Are we utilizing the latest updates to patch our database? And are we validating the data and sanitizing? The last mobile attack service is the application management threats. As you know, many enterprise mobile apps are distributed using application management software. Thus, who have access to this application management software, who can deploy our source code to the online stores such as Google Play or Apple Store. Is our mobile app signed by the enterprise account and who can or who has the ability to do remote wiping either fully for the mobile devices or partially only for the organizational data.